Thanks for joining me on another video with KL Tech Videos. Today, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your own artificial image generator. Um, so you've used tools like ChatGPT uh, and Gemini, and those large language models are great and all, but it would be awesome if we could create a tool that, or sorry, use a tool that would allow us to enter some text, such as a hedgehog riding a bike, and then boom, on the screen, it produces exactly the image you typed in. And we're not talking just searching the web for these images. We're talking about models that actually generate the, the images from your prompt on your computer. Now, important note to make here, we are using a Windows 11 um, server uh, in our home lab, in my home lab, and you do need an NVIDIA GPU to get this working. You can use a CPU, but it will be slow as hell. Um, and right now, AMD GPUs, unfortunately, are only supported on Linux. So as soon as we can get that moved over, that would be great as well. Now, there are a couple of ways you can deploy this. Today, I'm going to show you how to do this via Comfy UI. And without uh, further ado let's jump straight into it so this is the comfy ui github page i'm going to have this on the description below uh i'm just going to go straight into it this is what the interface is going to look like by the way uh, and you'll see that you've got uh what's called a checkpoint here which is the model the input you type in here will be you know that hedgehog riding on a bike the negative uh prompt in here will be something like a, a bag of noodles something you would never want in there you don't have to put anything in there but for some really weird reason things pop out a little bit better if you put something in the negative prompt that you absolutely don't want in the photo uh, and just work a bit better and then these other little parts are the samplers uh, and the decoders and then basically your final product which will pop out the end here um so i'm going to show you at least two models today the uh, steel diffusion xl turbo and the photorealistic model as well. So, installing Comfy UI, if we click on this, this will jump down here. You can go onto the releases page if you want to, but you can actually just direct link download here. We're gonna click on that and that'll start downloading our Comfy UI. Okay, so that's downloaded. Oh, there it is. You'll already notice that I have one downloaded already. But what you would do is you would extract uh, this Let's just rename this Comfy UI. Um, in fact, let's name this uh, Comfy UI Demo, so we know what we're looking at. So after downloading, we'll rename it Comfy De Demo just so you can see what this is. We're going to extract it to a new folder in the downloads path. Okay, now that's extracted. We will enter the Comfy UI demo folder. And here we go. So if we go into here, you will see two bat files. One is to run the program as a, on the CPU, and the other is to run it on the GPU, the NVIDIA GPU. Um, but first, it's a very important little document here in the TXT file. We're going to read. And this basically says, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, run that. If you have a CPU in slow mode, run that. However, we do need to download our first model for this. Uh, and basically, all we've got to do is copy this, paste this into our web browser. And download it here. We're going to save link as, and we're going to go into our Comfy UI folder, portable, Comfy UI going to open this up to models checkpoints so as you can see inside the comfy ui folder under portable under comfy ui under models under checkpoints and then literally the ckpt file there or if you had a safe tensor uh, extension file pop it in this folder here okay so when that's downloaded then we can minimize this minimize everything uh, and basically, we can just basically run this uh, bat file for the NVIDIA GPU because I'm running um, an RTX 3080. 
Um, but if we click edit before we do that, if you're planning on using this just locally, that's absolutely fine. Uh, but if you're going to be connecting this up to, for example, um, Open Web UI uh, and Olama, um, which, by the way, I have a video for in the description below, and I will show you in this video how to connect all that up, then you're going to want to add the hyphen hyphen listen command, which will basically allow the program to be accessed outside of local host. So across different machines or different services, things like that. So once we've done that, we've clicked save. We can now run the NVIDIA GPU bat, which will start this process up. Give it a few seconds to kick in. We're going to allow Python. Okay, and this is what it will actually look like for you guys. Um, when you're on this this is the model that we downloaded just now by the way 1.5 pruned emily and basically this is where we can start entering uh prompts so you've got beautiful scenery nature glass bottle landscape purple galaxy bottle that's the, the default setup here uh, and it's already set up for us and i know this looks very complicated and it did when i first got to grips with this but it will become easier to understand over time if we click Q prompt, that basically says start generating the image from what is in this prompt. And it will load the model up, encode it, put it through the sampler, decode it, and then present the image to you. And it's as simple as that. Now, I do believe this is a 512 by 512 resolution image. Yeah. But as you can see, it works pretty good. And it's pretty fast. Now, if you were doing this in the CPU, I can imagine this would take quite long. So if you're running this in a CPU only mode and your CPU is not that powerful, especially for AI generation and stable diffusion generation, then it's gonna take a little while. So let's see if we can get another image up. Let's see if we can get a, a hedgehog riding a bike. Cue the prompt. And there we go, a hedgehog riding a bike. And it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Um, but there are other models that we can download. Now, if I go into my folder here, and I go to the one I, I have been using myself earlier on, that I, I've only done it from scratch just to show you guys how it all works. But if we go to the Comfy UI folder, we go down to models and checkpoints, you'll see that I have quite a few different ones in here. Um, so if I copy these, and, and I'll show you how to get hold of these in a second. But uh, if I actually go back out to the one we downloaded in this video, the demo, and put the models in here, checkpoints, and just paste these in. This gives us access to a different set of models that can actually produce a different set of results. Now I'm going to basically close this terminal down because if this terminal closes, this turns your, your stable diffusion off, UI off, um, which I'll do now. So if I close that down, and before I close the page down, I just want to quickly show you one more time. That's what the hedgehog riding a bike looked like using the standard model. So you might want to flip back and, and forward this in a few seconds. As you can see, it says reconnecting because it's not running anymore. If I run the NVIDIA GPU bat file again. And it's opened a new prompt up, uh, a new page up for us. Now, if I do a hedgehog riding a bike uh, prompt, uh, but this time I'm gonna change the checkpoint. As you can see, it's now got all the checkpoints I've got in that folder. And let's say we put it into Dreamlike Photo Real 2.0. Let's see how that changes things. So it loads the model checks out the prompt, what am I doing, puts it through the sampler, decodes the image, and then spits out. You can see it's a wholly different image, but it almost looks a bit better. And that's personal perspective, by the way, in personal opinion. Um, but there you go, that's that's one way of doing it. Um, we have an anime one as well. Let's see what the anime version looks like. And the, all these models are gonna generate different things, but it's best to have a, a few different models so that it's just easier to use and, and get different results from. 
So uh, it's still decoding. It was just putting the model into uh, into RAM. There we go. Spitting it out. And again, nowhere near what we wanted to look at, but it, it has spat out a result. Uh, let's just check one more out. Um, let's, let's do the uh, Stable Diffusion XL Turbo model. Spit that out. See what we get there. Loads of the checkpoints. Or the model. Checks out our prompt. And again, this is using your graphics uh, card. It's, it's going through the mill right now. And my, I can hear my fans all whirring up. And again, that's the Stable Diffusion XL Turbo model. Um, personally, I preferred the first two models. But it's good to get a different kind of perspective on it and, and try different models and that's why you download these different models now something else i want to show you here in the open uh, web ui and olama uh, which i do have a video uh, in the description view below uh, to show how to install this really simple really quickly but we can actually connect this um large lounge model up to our stable diffusion our comfy ui so if we head down to our username here go to settings and then we go to images you'll see that I've already uh, got one set up here, which is pointing at my uh, laptop. Um, so basically you just, cause we, if you remember earlier on, we put the listen command in, which allows us to use uh, the program across different computer services across your network. Um, so this is the IP address of my laptop, which I'm currently hosting this on. Now, um, Comfy UI is running in port 8188. Uh, it would help if we were actually running um, the program. So if we run that, okay, so that's up and running. Uh, and if we go back to Web UI, you'll see that it's now verifying that connection. Um, and then you get to pick the model from your checkpoints folder. Um, again, I am using the Dreamlike uh, Photo Reel. Um, you can set this, the steps as well. Yeah, I think I'll do the Olama. So if I do repeat this prompt, uh, a hedgehog riding a bike. Okay, so this is actually spitting out a, a bit of a, a better prompt than I'd initially put in. Um, but because we've got this connected up with um, Comfy UI and Stable Diffusion, you'll see this button down here, Generate Image, and that's generating the image based off the prompt it came back with. So if I click this, and we look in here, you'll see that it is, it's got the prompt and it's putting it through the mill now. It's actually going through the model, loading up really fast, and then right there, boom, it's created our prompt for us inside Open Web UI uh, and Olama, which I think is fantastic because um, I know a lot of people use like mid journey, things like this. But this means you can self host it yourself. This means you have a lot more control uh, and it's a lot more intuitive uh, and things like that. I mean, some of these are absolutely fun. I mean, yeah, you can do videos now as well. There's this models to do videos with, which are really cool. Uh, people are using them to create fake uh, Instagram accounts. I mean, look at these. These are so much better. So it's actually given, check out my model here. So people are creating models. So absolutely amazing models on here. Uh, Reddit is definitely the place to be if you want to get the most up-to-date latest greatest information and, and access to models and things like that that people recommend that is amazing look at that Do you know that would be fantastic as a windows uh or any operating systems wallpaper just amazing so i hope this video has helped you kind of get to grips with the very basics uh because this is by no means uh an advanced tutorial or anything i'm going to leave in the description below some really cool videos that i found on youtube and all the other resources we've discussed in the video 
So thanks very much for watching as usual. Thank you to my subscribers. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Help me get to my milestones. And I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.